guys, it's Angie, and today I am going to show you how to do a super basic, really, really easy eye look that looks like you spend a lot of time on it, but you're not going to, so that's awesome. Um, if you haven't yet, this makeup look that I'm wearing right now, this super simple, like, no makeup makeup look, um, I just filmed it, and these two videos are going to be going up at about the same time, so I'll link this really easy 10 minute full face of makeup. Nope, not full face of makeup. So I will link this super easy 10 minute no makeup makeup look below. And you can watch that and then you can watch this one and it'll be like, yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't want to do both of them together though because I didn't want to put out like another 18 minute video and put people to sleep. Um, but yeah, I am going to be doing a super duper easy eye look using the Too Faced Chocolate Bomb Bomb Palette. I think this is an amazing palette. Um, it smells like chocolate. Not even kidding. If you want to see how to get an amazing eyeshadow look using this palette, keep watching! So today we're gonna do this look using actually only three brushes and three products. So, the three brushes here, the three products here. I will explain them all as I use them. Um, like I said, I already did this makeup look earlier. I'm gonna post, or I'm gonna post a link in the description box so you can get this whole face of look whole face of look? Whole makeup look, if you just watch these two videos. Oh. Okay, anyway, so we are going to start first. Here, let's first zoom you in. <sighs> so close. So first we are going to prime our eyes using my current favorite primer, the NYX Proof It. And I just apply that all over. Whoa! And that's just going to keep your eyeshadow from creasing, because nobody likes a creasy mess. And then I'm just going to take my Catrice powder here, and you could really use any powder. But I'm just going to set it, because this primer actually is like a little sticky for some reason. It says it's waterproof, so I don't know if that somehow plays into the stickiness of it. I don't know. Okay, so that's all set. So I am going to take my Too Faced palette and I'm like, hmm, I would say about 90% sure that all of these colors are in the correct spot because I did drop this and like all of the shadows fell out. So that's definitely a downside, but you know. But I am going to start with, what is this? Almond Truffle. And so this is just a matte shade, and I'm going to use that in the crease. I'm going to be using my MAC 224. This is just a fluffy blending brush. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that shadow. So when you do a crease shade, this is really kind of to transition from whatever your all-over lid shade is going to be um, up, so it doesn't just look like a harsh line. So I'm going to take this... It's just a light-ish matte shadow. And I'm just going in back and forth circular motions in my crease here, just to really blend that out. I think we are sufficiently blended. And then I am going to take my MAC 217, and this is just a, it's another blending brush, but it's a little more dense. And this is just kind of a smaller blending brush. I am going to darken up the outer corners, and I am going to use this Mocha. It's another matte brown shade. Kind of looks like chocolate. So I'm just going to take a little bit, tap it off. And I'm going to more focus on the outer corners, just kind of, just to darken it up. And it's important, it's important when you're doing this to have a light hand, because if you get a whole bunch of product on there, don't tap it and just kind of like go in there like heavy handed, it's not going to blend. Um, so you do have to just kind of like take your time and kind of, you know, build it up.
So we got that. And then next I am going to go in. This is just a, like an all over lid brush. It's just a flat shader brush. This is by Royal and Lynn Nickel. It's the BX80. I got this in like a boxy charm or a glossy box or an Ipsy or something like that. I got it in one of my subscriptions. And then I am going to use the color. Which one is it? Molasses Chip. And this is just kind of like a. It's got a sheen to it. It's just a really nice. Kind of like light brown. I'm terrible at colors. I am the worst at describing colors. So you're just going to have to see it. But it's got a sheen to it. I like to use the, like a more shimmery color on my lid. And normally I would do my eye makeup first and then do my face makeup. But because of the way that I did my videos today... We're doing the eye makeup last. And for me, it works to kind of, instead of sweeping this on, um, like we did for the crease, the crease colors, is I kind of press it into my eye, because I want this color to be, you know, applied on there heavily. And so I just kind of press it on. And this is something that you could spritz your brush with a... A setting spray like a fix plus and just make this even more intense and kind of foil foil it a little bit but I am not going to do that and if you do get fallout I'm just taking my brush and sweeping it away okay and then just to kind of marry all the colors together I'm just taking this uh, Mac 224 brush that big fluffy blending brush that we used and just kind of doing that. And then finally, I am going to take a cashew chew. And I'm going to just do that as my brow bone highlight. This is like a really light matte pink. It's got the tiniest, tiniest bit of shimmer in it. And I'm just going to put that right there. And that just, that'll highlight your brow bone and then also it's going to kind of blend out the top of that darker shade. And then I'm actually going to go in with satin sheet so it's that first really big pan. And I am going to just put that on the inner corners. I'm not normally an inner corners type of girl, you know, but why not? I'm going to go back in with that first shade, that Almond Truffle, and I'm going to just put that on my bottom lash line. Just kind of smoke it out a little bit. And we've actually already got mascara on from my previous video. Um, but to finish it all off, I am going to do a winged liner. And I know a lot of people are really, really intimidated by winged liner. Um, I definitely was. I think practice is going to make it better. And then also using a really good eyeliner. I prefer the liquid, um, like felt tip liners. Um, I know a lot of people use a, a little angled brush and gel liner. I haven't tried that yet. I would love to try that. I plan on trying that. Um, but I am going to just use this one. It is by Scone. It's the Insanely Intense Tattooed Waterproof Eyeliner in Jet Black. I got this again in like an Ipsy bag or something like that. Um, so the key with winged liner is to start small. Absolutely start small. Um, small wing, small brush strokes because you know all those like memes you see online where it's like, oh, a little winged liner and then it's like raccoon eyes. That's, you know, you need to start small um, because you're going to mess up. You're probably definitely going to mess up. Um, I think I mess up a little bit every single time. So start small wing. Small wing, people. Um, and then you can build it up. So let us do that. Whew, take a deep breath. 
So I am going, I start with the wing first and I just do kind of like a little, a little flick, downward flick from um, my outer corner and then I bring it in. And then at the end I'm going to do the nice flick there. And then another suggestion is when you're going across your eyes, if you're like me, I don't know, I like literally can't stop my eyelids from moving. Um, so I just do little tiny lines to put them all together so, you know, I can lift my my uh, eyeliner up when my eye is moving. So I'm not like, and then it's like raccoon eyes in no time. Again, start small because you are going to get a little bump in there. You're going to have to go back and thicken the line. So if you start too thick um, from the beginning, then raccoon eyes. That is the end result of everything terrible with wing liners. Raccoon eyes, raccoon eyes, raccoon eyes. And you start all over unless raccoon eyes is what you're going for. Which it's probably not. So we've got the line across the lashes. We've got the little wing. So now um, to finish it off, I am going to kind of like connect the top of this wing to the um, lash line. Kind of give it that bigger wing. Okay, well, I guess that's what we're going with today. Hmm. You know what? It looks... <laughs> it looks sharp, so we're just gonna... We're, you know what? Sometimes... Sometimes... The makeup does you. And you just have to do whatever the makeup wants to do. There are worse things in life than this right here. Now we just have to get it to match. Which is the hard part. Okay, when you feel like all is lost and everything is coming to the end and your world is crashing down because you messed up your eyeliner and you're starting to look like a raccoon, um, Q-tip and some makeup remover. We'll get it all fixed up. <gasps> look at that. Ooh. It's like freaking Cleopatra over here. Oh. Why would you trust me? So I got that done the first time the right way perfectly, right? Okay. All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It is a super easy makeup look that looks like it's been, you spent like tons of time on it. Although you really may have if you do the wing liner part. So for that, I apologize. You can leave that out and it'll still look great. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button below. Um, that way you can stay up to date on all the videos I put out. If you have any suggestions or anything you want to see or want to learn how to do, um, just leave it in the comment section below. And I will try my damnedest to get it up for you guys. But yeah, well thanks so, so much for watching and until next time, bye!